Hello, hello. Okay, here we go with a bar workout. So you can kind of get the flow of how I'm teaching classes. We're gonna start with a standing bar series. We're gonna go down so for, for some upper body at the mat and then some core work on the mat as well. Starting with our traditional warm up. we're gonna take three opening breaths. Go ahead, inhale, arms up, and exhale down. Again, big inhale, arms up, and exhale down, last time. Inhale, arms all the way up, and exhale down. From here, shoulder circles to the back, big exaggerated movement, bringing those shoulders up and over, as far back as you can. And from here, we're gonna switch directions. So now you're just bringing the shoulders up and over forward, up and over forward, making that movement as big as possible. And from here, we're gonna to come to the bar, starting with the right leg, 10, lunge tap. Here's 10, lunge tap, nine, lunge tap. Here's eight, and up, seven, and up, six, and up. Here's five, and four, here's three, two, and last one, left leg, lunge tap. It's left, and up, left, and up. Here's eight, and up, seven, and up, six, and up. Here's five, four, here's three, two, and last one, alternating legs. So it goes right leg up, left leg up. Here's right leg up, left leg up. Lunge and tap, lunge and tap. Tall upper body, watch that front knee, get those muscles heated up. From here, you're gonna turn. We're gonna start parallel, turn the feet out to first position. We're gonna plie, releve, stand up and connect the heels down. Plie, releve, up, back down, so it's down. Up, up, connect and down, down. Up, up, connect and down. Tall upper body posture. Okay, chest is up, abs are pulled in. Okay, the important piece here is to connect those heels on the way back down. Actually touch and connect those heels, push them in together, okay? You have nice tight inner thighs on the way down here. From here we got 10 releves, here's up for eight. As you're lifting those heels up, I want you to think about pulling the lower abs in. So as those heels come high or higher, the lower ab area pulls in. From here we've got leg lift up. Okay, from here, here's eight. You wanna think about extending that leg, growing it longer as you come up. Okay, from here, here's four, up, three, up, two, and last one. From here, we're gonna plie and reach up and over. You've got 10 of these, plie, reach, and grow longer on that outside. That whole outside grows longer. Those fingertips reach, 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 reach. And at the same time, you wanna connect the inner thighs and squeeze those inner thighs tight. Squeeze through the midline and extend on your whole entire outside. From here, left leg, lunge, tap. Here's lunge and tap, lunge and tap, lunge and tap. Okay, you've got 10 total, then we're gonna go 10 right side, and then we're gonna go 10 alternating. This is my standard warm up that I'm doing in my classes right now. Okay, heating up those muscles, here's right leg. Lunge tap, nine. Lunge tap, eight. Lunge tap, seven. Lunge tap, six. Here's five, up, four, and up. Here's three, up, two, and up. Last one, alternating legs. It goes left leg, up. Right leg, up. Here's left leg, up. Right leg up, good job, good job. From here, when we finish our 10, we're gonna turn the other way, okay, so I'm gonna turn away from the camera, and we're gonna go into that same series, starting in parallel, turn out to first, here we go, plie, releve, up and back down, connecting those heels on that way, back down, here we go, down, up, up and back down, down, up, up, connect the heels, down, up, up, connect, here's down, up, up, connect, down, up, up, connect. You've got 10 of these. Coming up after this, we're gonna go into releve, okay? So finishing our 10 here. Here's releve 10, here's nine. Up eight, up seven, pull those abs in six. Here's five, grow taller, four, extend tall, three. Here's two, and last one, outside leg lift up. Okay, extend and point that toe nice and light, nice and long. Here's six and up, here's five, up, four, up, three, up, here's two, 
And last one, we've got plie, reach up and over, grow longer on that whole outside of your body. From here, also squeeze those inner thighs together. Midline, midline, midline is nice and tight. You wanna think about squeezing those inner thighs so tight that you wrap around and squeeze into the glutes. Okay, good job. From here, let's go ahead and take a quick little stretch. We're gonna take little cat cows like you would do in yoga class. So take a nice stretch here. From here, you're gonna roll the tailbone forward and under and then round up the back so you come into an angled standing position. Then you're gonna arch and slide back down. So it's round up, tucking the tailbone, send the tailbone back, chest and chin come up and slide it down. And one more time, let's round up and arch and slide back down. Stay here for a moment. Let's take left hand to the center, so take a little step back, release the right hand and take just that nice stretch folding forward. From there, stretch, oh, sorry, let's step the left side out and lean out to that left side. Go ahead, switch arms. Right hand comes up, left hand comes down. Then let's go ahead and step that right leg out and lean out to the right side. From here, go ahead, drop both hands down and just come down into a nice forward folding bend. And from there, round on up. We're gonna start into our standing bar series. So what that's gonna consist of is a low impact cardio series, which is gonna be 50 ballet marches, 50 cross ballet marches, 30 angels one side and 30 angels the other side. From there, we're gonna go into a plie and lunge series. So uh, it's gonna be wide second position plies, a series of that, a series of lunges, and then a series of parallel plies. Uh, parallel plies. From there, we repeat that twice. So we take a small little stretch and then we go all the way back through low impact cardio and then we do the other side. Um, when we come to the lunge series, we do the other side, the other leg forward. Um, so we switch sides. Okay, so we go through two times. Okay, ready? We're gonna begin in a moment with those ballet marches. Here we go. Up. Okay, so what I want you to think in these ballet marches is you have a nice long leg. There's a slight bend in the leg, but it's not a high knee. And with your arms, you're making a nice dynamic movement. So you're actually pulling down. You want to think about those lats sliding the shoulder blades down and pulling down. Okay, so you lift up from that lower abdominal area and you pull down. And you want to give me that nice quick tempo. Okay, I want to raise that heart rate up. Okay, make sure you don't have big flexion of the spine. So that movement is happening while you're keeping the back nice and stable. Okay, so we are moving through the core, but that back is not flexing forward. When we go, right here, we're gonna switch. So now we have elbow comes down and crosses, okay? So elbow crosses to the knee, elbow crosses to the knee, elbow crosses to the knee. Okay, so I'm counting as I do these. I should have 50, 50, 30, 30, but if you know me, you know I'm not the best counter while I'm exercising, or even while I'm teaching, I'm not the best counter. That, no matter though. Okay, from here, you're gonna be stretch, pull, stretch, pull, stretch, pull, stretch, pull, stretch, pull, stretch, pull. Okay, so with those arms, you stretch them up and you you pull down, activating that core. We're still using that lower abdominal area to lift that leg. So it's not a kick, it's a lift. From here, we're gonna go angels. We've got 30 of them. Okay, so the key pieces with this are that you are bending those knees to get low. I want you to bend the knees, bend at the knees, not at the waist. If you're bending at the waist, you're gonna have lower back issues. So I want you to bend those knees to get low. You're touching the ground here and coming up, extending that leg up. I want you to be as fast as you can. When we do low impact movements, in order to get the same effect as that high impact um, calorie fat burning effect, we have to use arms and legs. We have to go low to high, We're like a big movement, right? And we have to give a nice quick tempo. So try and stay with me in your 30 count as you're going through. We're gonna switch sides. Here we go, 30 and up, 29 and up, 28 and up. Same thing, bending those knees to get low. Okay, you wanna think about big movement. Exhaling as you come up to that standing position. Try and remember to point that toe. Okay, this is challenging, but that's the key piece. It's only about two minutes, two minutes and 30 seconds of this cardio, so I need you to give full intensity during those, this small little low impact cardio piece, okay? This is something that I've added an element into my bar classes that I've had huge success with and women have seen great results from. So I really love this. So stay in there, almost there. Get low to high, great. We're gonna go into that second wide 
position plies. You've got 10 of them here. Okay, so control the weight down, squeeze everything up. I tell people, you wanna squeeze from the top of your kneecap all the way to your waist. You wanna activate everything. If you want extra emphasis in the glutes, you wanna push down through those heels at the top. So squeeze everything up, push down through those heels on the way up. From here, we're gonna take 10 little minis. Here we go, here's, oh, last one. From here, we've got, here's 10, squeeze it. Nine, squeeze. Pubic bone comes slightly forward, so it's not a tuck, but it's a slightly forward of the pubic bone. Push down through those heels, and you wanna take it slow and low. Don't burn out in your quads here. Pay attention, squeeze those glutes. From here we go, knees back for 10, knees back nine. Press them back eight. Press them back more, seven. Press, hold, six. Press, hold, five. Press, hold, four. You wanna feel the stretch in the inner thigh and those glutes, pressing those legs back. From here, we're gonna hold, isometric hold for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Here we go, plies, 10. Back to the same series, nine. Here's eight, I believe. Here's seven, squeeze it up. Seven, squeeze, push down through those heels. Squeeze, push down through those heels. Squeeze, push down through those heels. Okay, upper body is nice and tall, but we're really focused on muscle, 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 mind and muscle here in that lower body. Squeezing those glutes at the top. Here we go, littles. Here's nine, squeeze and release. Eight, pubic bone comes slightly forward, push down through those heels. Here's six, up. Here's five, four. Here's three, squeeze the glutes. Here's two. And last one, press those knees back 10, press them back nine, press them more eight, here's seven, here's six, press back five, press back four, press them back more three, here's two, last one, hold it, here's 10, nine, eight, press, 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 hold that press, press them back even more, wherever you try are, try and move them one millimeter back more and release. Here we go, and right into that lunge, tap, here's 10, lunge tap nine. I want you to think about, you might have to adjust your feet, push down into that front leg in order to come up and squeeze that front leg glute. So if you have your right leg forward, you're squeezing that right leg glute. Push down to come up, push down into the floor to come up. From here, stationary lunge, here's 10. Now we're in the left glute. I want you to squeeze that left glute on the way up. So as you come up, squeeze that back glute, squeeze that back glute. Okay, come down nice and low. You've got 10 like this. I'm not sure what number we're on. Then we're gonna take 10 little minis and then we're gonna take the front leg into 10 little releves, okay? So here we have minis. Here's nine, squeeze that back leg glute. Back leg glute, so your left leg should be back. I want you to squeeze that glute. Okay, good, you've got 10 of these. Then we're gonna stay nice and low and we're gonna releve that front foot. Let's finish our squeeze right here. Here we go, releve. Here's nine, up, eight, seven, Six, good, here's five. Hold that squeeze in the back, glute three. Here's two and one, nice job. Here we go, lunge tap, up 10. Lunge tap, nine. Lunge tap, eight. Lunge tap, seven. Now you're back into that right glute, so we give our left glute a little bit of a break here. Push down to come up. We're gonna finish our big series here. We come into the stationary lunge next, okay? Right here, stationary lunge. Squeeze the back leg glute, which if you have the right leg forward is your left leg. Here is eight. Come down low, squeeze seven. Squeeze it up six. Squeeze it up five. Here is four. Here is three. Coming into those mini lunges next, two and one. One, take it down low. You've got little mini. Squeeze that back leg glute and release. If you have a hard time feeling this in your glute, you can exaggerate the movement by pushing the pubic bone forward. So it's not a tuck, it's just a slight tilt forward in order for you to feel that glute better. Okay, good, releve 10. Here's nine, eight, stay low, seven. Here's six, here's five, four, here's three, two, and one. Good job, woo! Give a quick little shake out of the legs. We're gonna go, go into a parallel facing the bar. We're gonna take a stretch first. We're gonna go into a parallel um, plie series next, okay? Now, you'll see that my legs shake in this. Your, my, your legs might shake too, it's okay. Feet start in parallel position. You're gonna bring the glutes down over the heels. So the knees have to come forward just a little bit, okay? If this bothers your knees, you can either A, not go as deep, or B, you might need to modify um, by going back to that second wide position, okay? So we've got 10 here, full uh, plies, and then 10 little minis. Here's our little minis, here's 10, here's nine, eight, 
seven, here's six. Try and be slow with these. The key is not to rush through them. Good, from here, give a little shake out. We're gonna go through one more time again. Here's 10, all the way down and up 10, and up. Here's nine. So I like to think of this, if you are, like you're accordion yourself down, right? Like my glutes don't go back as I'm going into a chair squat. They go down over my heels and my knees come forward. Okay, good. From here, we're gonna go little minis, 10. Whoops, here we go. Here's 10, nine, eight. Here's seven, slow and low, six. Here's five and four, three, two, and one. I don't know what happened to the end of mine there. <laughs> Okay, give the legs a shake out. Let's take a stretch. Now go ahead, take that right leg up and let's fold forward over that leg to begin with. Good, from here, you're gonna turn the supporting foot, open the hip and you're gonna side bend over that leg. And then from here, release. Let's go ahead and same thing, other side. I didn't take the stretch on the other one, but you're welcome to. Go ahead and take that leg up, fold over that leg to begin with. So you wanna think about the hips being more square here. And then from here, turn the supporting leg foot, open the hip and side bend over that leg. And release. Go ahead and give the legs a little shake out. We're gonna go through a second time. Back to those 50 ballet marches. Here we go, lift it up and up and up and up. Try and set that nice pace and rhythm that lets you get through, that challenges you, but lets you get through, okay? So you might be at a slower pace. My goal for you here is to be on my pace and I've got 50 ballet marches followed by 50 cross ballet marches. That's when the elbow comes down towards the knee. And then we have 30 angels one side and 30 angels the other side. You wanna think about this movement being a graceful, dynamic, powerful movement in one. From here, we're getting ready to switch, okay? Here it is, switch. So elbow comes down towards that knee. Okay, so lifting the leg up, using those lower abs, that core, core, core. The leg comes up from the lower abs, okay? You're pulling in in order for that leg to come up and trying to keep that nice quick tempo with that form. And with the arms, it's stretch up, pull, stretch up, pull, stretch up, pull, stretch up, pull. Okay, good, so it's a big dynamic movement using those arms and legs and we have that nice quick tempo. Again, that's what we need for that low impact cardio. Okay, almost there, stay with it. Stre sorry, stretch, pull up, stretch, pull up, stretch, pull up, stretch, pull up. Here we go, angels, starting with the opposite sides first this time. Okay, you've got 30 of them. Try and stay on my pace. Bend those knees to get low and up. Bend the knees to get low and up. Bend the knees to get low and up. Okay, good. So I want you to think about with the arm, you're being strong, purposeful, and dynamic with that arm movement. So it's not like you're just a bird flapping through the air and you just have a little flappy, flappy arm. You have a dynamic and purposeful arm, right? And you wanna point that toe as you come up. So you come low and bring that leg nice and high, making that movement as big as possible and as fast tempo as possible. Keep it going. Okay, good. Remember, exhaling at the top. When you get tired, that breathing helps you tremendously. So exhale the top, switch sides. Here we go. To reach it down and up, reach it down and up, reach it down and up. Try and keep that nice quick tempo. Try and reach all the way to the floor, bending those knees to get low and take it up nice and high, nice and quick. Exhaling at that top. Okay, good. This is the last piece of cardio for the day, so make sure you push yourself through this last little piece, giving that nice quick tempo that allows you to keep the form, but also challenges, challenges you, okay? Almost there, stay with it. Finish strong with this little piece, then we're gonna go, go in, sorry, then we are going to go into that second wide position plie series, okay? Keep it going, almost there. Good, and done. Here we go, nice wide foot position. Feet are turned just slightly out. Knee tracks in between that big toe and that little toe. So you wanna make sure you're in alignment, okay? Control the weight down and then squeeze everything from the top of the kneecap to that waist or almost to the belly button up. Extra emphasis on the glutes if you want, which I think we all want. You wanna push down into those heels once you come up. Here we go, we're going into little minis here. Here's 10, squeeze it. Nine, pubic bone comes forward, push down 
down through those heels. Okay, stay slow and low. Don't rush through this. Really activate and feel from the glutes this working. You're not in your quads. Your quads are there as secondary. Glutes are the primary firing. Here we go, knees go back, press them back and back more. Think about press back, hold, release, press back, hold, release, press back, hold, release. Okay, good. When we finish our 10 here, now we've got to hold, 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 hold them back, hold them back, hold them back. Pressing back and open as much as you can. And release, good job. Here we go, plies, right into them. Bring it down, control it down, squeeze it up. Control it down, squeeze it up. Okay, good. Extra emphasis, pushing down into those glutes at the standing piece here. Thinking about drawing the center line, so drawing your thighs back towards each other. So you push down and to the center. Let's do five more. Here's five, squeeze it up. Four, squeeze it up. Here's three, squeeze. Here's two, squeeze. And last one, we're gonna go into little minis again. Here we go, squeeze 10. Pubic bone forward, push down into those heels, squeeze the glutes. Good, from here you've got about five, I believe. Here's four. Squeeze it nice and tight, three. Here's two and one, great. From here our knees go back 10, back nine, back hold press eight, hold press seven, hold press six, press them back more five. Here's four and three. Here's two, last one, we're gonna hold in there. Press back and hold, okay, press back so you don't release. Those knees are pushing back towards that back wall as much as you can and release. Turn, from here we're gonna go into that lunge. So we switch legs, it's lunge tap for 10. Okay, here we go, 10 and up. Lunge and up. Now, in the warm up, I didn't give you very many cues. We were just really focused on heating up the muscles. Now, I want you, just like we did in the first series, focused on that front leg glute. So you're pushing down into the heel, squeezing that glute at the top of the movement as you come up. Here's 10 stationary lunge. Now you're into the back leg glute. So squeeze that back leg glute. Okay, good. Squeeze it. Come down nice and low, squeeze it up. Come down nice and low, squeeze it up. Okay, good in that back leg. So we got 10 here, and we're gonna come into little minis. I think we have like two left. Here's, let's say two, and here we go, minis. Back leg glute still, so squeeze it up. Remember, you can give that slight tilt forward of the pelvis to give extra feeling, an extra squeeze to that front leg glute. We're gonna finish our 10 here, and we've got 10 releve in the front. Making that switch now, here's 10, and nine. Here's eight, up, seven, up. Here's six, here's five and four, here's three, and two, and last one. Take it up, lunge tap, right on into it. Push down to come up, 10. Push down to come up, nine. Push down to come up, seven. Here we go, here's six, and five. Squeeze that glute at the top of the muscle. You can do it when we finish these last two, I believe. We're gonna go into stationary lunge. Okay, good, step that leg back. Now you're in the back leg glute. So if you have the left leg forward, you're squeezing that right leg glute as tight as you can make it. I always laugh here and tell my clients that they wanna squeeze so tight they're squeezing out the cellulite. And I don't know, maybe, maybe you don't have that problem, but I do. I'm always thinking about that little visual for myself. Um, if that doesn't work for you, you can think the tighter you squeeze, the more you lift. Okay, from here, the more you lift your glutes. From here, little mini, squeeze that back leg glute. Here's eight, squeeze it. Seven, squeeze it tight. Six, squeeze. Here's five, squeeze. And four. Here's three, we're gonna go into releves. And two, take it low, time. Here's nine, up. Eight, seven. Here's six. Stay low, five. Sink a little lower, four. Three, but the heel comes up high, two. And one, release. Give the legs a little shake out. Okay, good job. Let's take a quick little stretch here. We still have that parallel plie series for the last time. That's our last of our standing piece. Then we're gonna take a stretch and we're gonna come down to the mat for upper body, okay? So enjoy this little mini stretch here before we go to the parallel. Now my legs really shake in this one if I remember correctly. Okay, so here we go. Down and bring it up down. So you don't want to come too low. You're gonna kind of need to feel that, that point where your muscles engage and you have to just kind of pause at the bottom and feel the muscles hold you there for just a split second. So there's a small pause. See it? Pause and up. Here's pause and up. Good. 
Okay, good. Remember the knees come forward. Here's little minis. Keep those heels as high as you can and stay nice and low. Squeeze the glutes as you come up and lift. Squeeze the glutes, squeeze the glutes, squeeze the glutes. Here we go. Whew. From here, 10. Squeeze them up all the way down and all the way up. Okay, good. Then we're going to follow this 10 with little 10 minis. Okay, good. Nice job. Posture's nice and tall. Okay, you don't need to be tucked forward in this. You just want to have your spine in your neutral position, whatever that looks like for you. Okay, as long as the glutes aren't forward and the glutes aren't way back or there's not big curve. Here we go, little minis. Mini press, mini press, mini lift, mini squeeze, mini squeeze. Almost there. Good job. Woo! Okay, I don't know about you, but those always like burn, 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 burn for me. From here, let's take a nice stretch. This time, let's take a little ground stretch. Let's go ahead, come nice wide forward folding bend. Come to the center to begin with. Then let's walk over one side, pull yourself in. And same thing, other side. Walk to the other side, pull yourself in, other side. And from here, let's come back to the center. Let's put hands in front, hop or step your feet back together, and round on up to standing position. Woo! Here is drink break. You've earned it. So what I'm going to do here is hopefully get a little background music going for you for about 30 seconds, and then I'm going to spend about another 30 seconds explaining what is coming for the workout. Okay, so here comes our music. <laughs> Okay, so we have upper body mat. We're gonna have a shoulder press series, lateral raise series, front raise, and push-ups. And when I say series, it just is starting with that basic exercise and then adding um, like a small little exercise on top of that. So you've got the base exercise and then you have kind of what I like to call an accessory exercise, okay? So you'll see what we do as we get going. I like to stay in the 10 rep zone, at least for this, work, at least for this workout, each exercise is gonna be 10 repetitions except for the push-ups. Um, that one's a little bit different. So starting by getting your mat and getting two small weights. If you need to, you can move your bar out of the way like I have to do here. So small weights, I, I like to use two or three pound weights. Um, you know, you see what feels comfortable for, for you. I've had clients use up to five pounds, but I typically, for most people, stay with those two to three pound weights. And in this exercise, in this series, you'll see we do a lot of repetitions. Um, some of my bar classes, we do even more repetitions. So usually the two pounds, especially if you're engaged in how, and know how you're moving the muscles, the two pounds are usually a really good um, they're actually a really pretty good, darn good weight, if I do say so. So I just showed you here, my knees are in line with my hips, so they're parallel, hip width apart knees. From here, we're gonna shoulder press and look and see, I've got that turn at the top. So palms start for facing out towards you and they turn back towards you at the top or as you're pressing up towards the top. Okay, so you wanna exhale as you're pressing up. We have 10 repetitions of these. Then we're gonna add in, we're gonna come wide, press and turn, and bring it in, and bring it back out. And you have that turn each time in the middle. So the count, I'm not sure what number we're on, but let's say from here it's six and six. There's the count, it's five and five. Good, here's four and four. Here's three and three. Here's two and two, and let's see if I'm on the right count. Here's one and one. Good. From here, we take it down. We have just a basic size side raise. So you've got 10 of them. Here's nine. Slight bend in the elbow up, coming just about shoulder height. You see I'm coming just a little bit higher, but you really want to stick to a, about that same level as the shoulder. Okay, so this is our base exercise. The next movement is going to be a side raise with an elbow pull in. Okay, so stay here. Here we go. Here's the elbow pulls. There's 10. Okay, bring it up. Pull in, nine. Okay, here's shoulders and into those lat muscles as you pull down. Biceps are engaging also to pull those elbows in. See how the movement is nice and controlled, okay? So you lift up, pull in, and control back down. Lift up, pull in, and control back down. That's hard to say really fast. <laughs> 
Um, okay, good. So we're going to finish our 10. And the next exercise coming up is front raises. Okay, here we go. So we start with our base exercise, which is the front raise. Exhaling again as those arms come up. You wanna come up just to shoulder height, maybe just slightly above, like maybe one inch above, but you're really thinking about coming even with the shoulders, exhaling as those weights come up. Again, it's lifting up and controlling back down. When we finish our 10 reps, we're gonna add a pull back with the elbows. Here we go, pull. Okay, so it's lift, pull, and control back down. Lift, pull, and control back down. Okay, lift, back, 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 okay? So you wanna get into those back muscles as you pull, thinking about bringing those elbows towards the back wall, okay? Good. From here, I like to exhale as I'm pulling back on this one. Okay, keep that nice fluid movement. Shoulders will begin to burn, that's okay. Stay in there as long as you can, good. From here, now we're going to come down to a push-up series, okay? So we start with, I like a wide grip with my push-ups and fingers are turned just slightly out. You can come down to the knees or you can do a full push-up. We're gonna do five to the center. Here's four and three, coming down as low to the ground as you can. From here, we're gonna go into five with a stagger hand. So bring your right hand forward and your left hand goes back a little bit and we still come down as far as we can. We just have five of them, from here it's three and two, and one. Perfect, switch hands. The other hand comes forward, other hand goes back. Here's five, and four. Exhaling as you come away from the mat, core nice, tight and engaged, straight front line from the shoulder to the knee, and then take a child's pose and rest. Let's take a little bit of a stretch here. So go ahead and come back up. I like to take one arm across and actually hug it in, really hug, hug, hug it in. And then let's take a wrist circle. I like to do three turns each direction. Give a little shake out. And same thing, other side. Hug it across, actually hug it in, and circle three times. Change direction and circle three times. Okay, good, give a little shake out. We're gonna go for round two. Grab your weights. It's the same thing second time through. So we start with those shoulder presses with the turn. Here we go, pressing up and turn, press 10. Here's nine, press eight. Here's seven, also emphasis on press and then pull down. Here's five and four. Here's three and two and last one from here. Now we go out wide, press and turn it in and then bring it up and back wide. Okay, good. From here, here's eight and eight. Here's seven and seven. Six, twist six. Here's five and five. Here's four and four. Here's three, almost there, and three. Here's two and two. Last one and one. Perfect, bring it down, side raises. Here we go, lifting up. It's lift and control back down. Lift and control back down. Here's eight. Exhale as you come up, seven. Here's six, trying to come even with the shoulder. Here's five and four. Here's three. Here's two. And last one, now we're gonna lift and we're gonna add that elbow pull in. So pull the elbows in and back out. Control all the way through this movement. You wanna actually pull in here, engage the lats, engage the biceps, right? Okay, this is a conscious movement, being aware of where you're making that pull in. So we lift, pull, using back and biceps, and control back down. Lift, pull, back and biceps, and control back down. Okay, nice job, almost there, try and stay in there. Even me, I know it's burning, look at me, I'm slowing down, but you can do it, stay in there. Okay, good job. From here, we're gonna go front raises, here we go, starting with that base move of just the front raise, here we go, here's eight. And back up, here's seven. Lift it up, control it down for six. Exhaling as those arms come up and control down five. Here's four, core pulled in, abs pulled in. Here's two, I believe, and last one. Now we add that elbow pull. So it's lift, pull, and control down. Lift, pull, and control down. Think about bringing those elbows back as far as you can, using those back muscles to pull and back down. So even with the shoulder, pull it. Stay even with that shoulder through the pull so the arms stay parallel with the ground as you're making that pull back. You're almost there. I think you have two more. Here's two and last one. Nice job, good. 
Let's take a nice stretch for sure. Okay, so, oh, sorry, before I stretch, I'm sorry, my bad. We have our push-ups. Okay, so you have five, five, five. Wide grip, fingers turn slightly out. That helps you get into the chest versus triceps. Okay, here's two and three, low as you can. Here's four. If you can do a full push-up, do those full push-ups. One hand comes forward. This time, let's take the left hand forward first. Here's five and four. Straight line from the shoulder to the knee. Here's three, two, and last one. Switch, stagger the other hand forward. Here we go again. Here is five and up. Here's four, up, three, up, two, and last one. Nice job. Okay, now let's take a nice stretch. Okay, let's take a child's pose first. And from here, let's give a little shake out, take one arm across. Let's take those nice wrist circles again. Here's three, two, and one, reverse, especially having just done those push-ups. Okay, give it a little shake out, same thing other side, hug it in. Let's take those wrist circles again and reverse direction. And let's take one more stretch here. I'm gonna to turn to the side so you guys can see. You wanna interlace the fingers and you just wanna press the arms down, lengthening down towards the floor. Chest comes up, chin comes up. And you feel a nice stretch in the front of the shoulders there. Give it a little shake out. From here, we're gonna come down for abs. So we're gonna start with crunches. Let's take actually a moment and move your weights out of the way and then I'm going to show you here what our series is going to look like and kind of give you a brief explanation because once we get started I like to go through it quickly, okay? So we are, like I said, going to start with crunches. Then we're going to do single leg crunches and we're going to do that two times on each leg with a little pulse um, in there. Then we have a small little hip raise series, it's just two exercises. And then we go into side crunches which has a few little variations on those also. So again, it's like the other exercises I have that base movement, the base exercise, and then we add a little detailing, a little um, accessory movement on top of it. So you'll see as we go, and we're going to go through this two times because I like to spend a lot of times on abs because it's an important area, right? Absolutely an important area. So here we go. Coming down onto your mat, we're going to start with crunches. Okay, crunch up. I like to think about my ab muscles pulling up, lifting forward towards my knees, and then belly button into the floor. So each time I do a crunch, I'm thinking about those three movements, up, forward, and in. Here's up, forward, and in. Each time, exhaling as you come up, elbows stay out to the side nice and flat. From here, we're gonna take the left elbow and the right legs and the right knee, they meet, okay? So you extend out and then crunch in. Extend open and back in. We have 10 of these, then we're gonna take 10 little minis. Okay, good. From here, I think you have three left. Here's three, let's hope, <laughs> two, and last one. From here, we're gonna take little minis. Here's 10, nine, eight, seven. Here's six and five. Here's four, three, two, and one. Here we go, extend again. Here's 10, same arm, same leg. Here's nine, crunch in, extend open. Here's eight, so that extend open is as, as important as that crunch, boom, together. Okay, you wanna make sure you're moving from the core muscles, okay? Don't just go through the movement with your elbow moving and your leg moving, right? Think about core, 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 making this movement. Here we have minis. Here's nine and eight, seven. Here's six and five. Here's four and three. Here's two and one. Oh, you love my counting, don't you? From here, here we go. Here's 10, crunch. Same thing, other side. Here's nine, good. Here's eight. Make that upper body come more up than the knee comes back. So make the upper body do the work. You've got 10 repetitions here, and then we've got those little 10 minis. Okay, from here, let's go, I think it's this one. Here's 10, here's nine, eight, seven, six, here's five, four, three, two, and one. Here's 10, I don't know what happens with my counting. Here's nine, here's eight. Hopefully you can do better than I do. Here's six, here's five, Here's four, here's three, here's two, and last one, little minis, 10. Oops, here we go, 10, nine, here's eight, and seven, here's six, and five, here's four, and three, 
and two, and last one, great. From here, basic hip raises, here we go. Legs are just gonna lift, hips are just gonna lift up off of that ground. Try and be nice, slow and controlled. You've got 10 repetitions with this, and then we're gonna make the movement bigger. Okay, so but with this one, I just wanted a nice, slow, teeny tiny controlled movement, trying to think about like a coccyx curl up and lift. Here we go, take it out, and then control, lift it up. Notice how I kind of take a little pause here in the middle. So it's pause and then lift. Take the legs out, neutral, and then lift because we're taking momentum out of the equation. So you have to actually lift using the core muscles, using those deep core muscles to lift rather than just using momentum to swing the legs up. Okay, good. If this hurts your lower back, you don't have to come as low with the legs. The legs can be angled out at a 45 degree angle. That's totally fine and acceptable. And lift. So we have 10 total of these. Not sure what number we're on, but I'm sure we're almost there. Okay, from here, now you're gonna come on to the side. This is my little side crunch series I'm loving right now. So we have just basic side crunches. You've got eight of them. Here's seven, crunch six. Make sure you're pulling and moving from the obliques, not pulling the neck, not pulling the neck. Okay, the obliques do the work. We're gonna add a knee here. Here's eight and seven, good. Here's six. Be careful with the neck that you're not pulling the neck. Here's four, crunch, 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 three and two. Now we're gonna make the movement bigger. So we're gonna use that supporting arm as a support to lift us. It kind of acts as like um, a spotter or kind of assisting us to get, make that movement bigger as we come up. I think we have four left here. Here's four and three. Crunch, 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 control. Here's two and last one. <laughs> From here, we're gonna do same thing. Okay, so we come down and we're gonna start with those little side crunches. You've got eight of them. Here's eight, seven. Moving from the oblique, six. Here's five and four. Here's three and two. Last one, add the knee. Here we go. Here's eight and seven. Exhaling six as those knee and elbow come together. Here's five. Remember the open is just as important as this crunch together. So it's open and close. Open and close, open and close. We're gonna make the movement bigger here. Here's eight, up seven. Exhaling as you come up, six. Here's five and four. Here's three, here's two, and last one, nice. Okay, good. Now, I told you I love abs, so we're gonna go all the way through second time, starting all the way back with crunches. Okay, so here we go. Crunch up, use those abs to lift you, pull you forward and belly button in. Lift you, pull you forward and belly button in. Each time I want you to think about those three pieces, really actively engaging that core, those core muscles. Okay, from here, we're going to, in a moment, add that one leg, okay? So here we go, this time let's go with left elbow and right leg, 10. Here is nine, we go two times through. Here is eight, control seven, control six, open and close, five. Here is four and three, here is two, and last one, give me little minis, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, here is three and two and one. Here we go again, here is 10, crunch. Extend and close nine, extend and close eight, Exhaling as you come up, seven. Here's six and five. Here's four. Torso's coming up, right? Torso and shoulder come across. And here we go into little minis, 10, nine. Here's eight, here's seven. More emphasis on the torso coming up than the knee coming back. Okay, good. From here, we're gonna switch sides. Here we go, 10 and open. Here's nine and open. Here's eight and open, here's seven, and six, here's five, and four, here's three, and two, and last one, little minis, 10, nine, here's eight, here's seven, here's six, here's five, and four, here's three, two, and one. Okay, from here, hip raises. This time it looks like I only went through one of those each side. 
hip raises. Here's eight. Lift, slow and control. The legs do not have to be perfectly straight. If you can get them straight, that's wonderful. But more so the emphasis is on slow, controlled movement. Okay, it's kind of like a coccyx curl, and then you lift using those deep abdominal muscles. Here we come out, neutral, oops, here we go. Out, neutral, and lift, good. Here's out, neutral, and lift. Here's out, neutral, and lift. Make sure that, that back is not coming up off the ground and that you're not popping the abdominal muscles out, especially when those legs come out. Okay, if you find that your lower back is hurting or your abs are popping up off, up and away, you know, you're kind of um, coming off of the mat, don't go as low with the legs. So instead of coming parallel to the mat, you might be going up towards um, like a 45 degree angle away from the mat. Just to protect that lower back is very important. From here we go, side crunch series. Here's eight. Crunch for seven. Crunch six. Here's five and four. Here's three, two, and last one. We're going to add that knee. Here we go. Here's eight, crunch and open, seven, six, use those obliques, five. Here's four, pull in that waist. Here's three and two and one. Here we go, we're gonna make the movement bigger. Use that supporting arm to assist you. The elbow stays on the ground, you just use the forearm to make that movement bigger, to kind of spot you into making this bigger movement. From here, I think we have three, but I'm not positive. Here's two and Last one. Yay, my count was on. Okay, good. From here, we're gonna switch sides. We're gonna go same crunch series. Eight repetitions for each movement. I love this. Right now, I'm really loving this one. Here's eight and seven. Use those obliques. Here's six and five. Exhaling as you come up, four. Here's three. Here's two. And last one. Here we go. From here, add that knee. Eight and extend. Seven open and extend, six, crunch it forward, five, boom, here's four, and three, good, control for two, and last one, from here, bigger movement, here's eight, use that supporting arm to make it bigger, seven, here's six, this is our last exercise of the day, here's five, or of the workout, four, I don't know what your day holds, but of the workout, two, and last one, Okay, really good job. I hope you guys enjoyed that workout. We're gonna take a nice little cool down stretch. Just take the arms up behind you and just make yourself as long, 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 long as possible. And then released. Let's bring both knees in. Just hug the knees in. And then from here, let's extend the left leg and bring that right knee into chest. Sometimes I like to do an ankle circle here. But from here, let's go ahead and extend and straighten that leg and pull back towards the upper torso. And from here, let's bend that leg again. And now let's take that nice little ankle circle. And you want to make sure you go each direction. So go ahead, change direction and circle. From all those releves and pointed toes, it's always really nice to do those ankle circles. It's like a little treat for your body. Bring the other knee into chest, hug it in. And then let's go ahead and straighten that leg, bring it back towards the upper torso. As you're pulling the leg back, you want to think about anchoring, anchoring that tailbone down into the ground. Okay, it deepens the stretch. From here, bend the knee. Let's take that ankle circle. And then change direction. Go ahead, bring both knees in and rock yourself forward if you're able to. And let's come into a nice wide straddle sit. Okay, go ahead and move your sit bones back. That's what I like to do, a little yoga cue there. And from here, Let's go, once you have yourself situated, it takes me a while to get situated, this day at least. So let's go ahead and walk yourself forward. And you wanna try and think about keeping a more straight back. Okay, you don't wanna like round into this stretch. You wanna keep like a nice flat back, even if that means you don't go as far, that's okay. And then I want you to also think about each of these, I want you to think about sinking in rather than pulling yourself down into that stretch. Sink into the stretch. Turn over your right leg and then extend over first and then round down. Again, it's about sinking 
into that stretch. Don't pull into the stretch. If you can do this little fancy transition I have, come into your side bend that way. Otherwise, come back up into neutral and side bend over the leg. Key thing is here, you want that top shoulder to be nice and open. You don't want it to be like folded forward slouchy, right? Turn over the other leg, extend over, and then round down. Sinking down into that stretch. Enjoy the stretch. It's nice. Your body worked hard today. From here, fancy transition if you can. Open that top shoulder. Make sure the shoulder is facing towards the ceiling is what I mean by that, not down towards the ground. And let's come back into neutral. Okay, bring one leg in and then the other. And from here, walk yourself into forward folding bend. I want you to adjust the feet so that you have a nice solid base here. Okay, so I like to be just a little bit apart. Take the hands behind the back, interlace the fingers, and bring those arms up and over. I love this stretch. And you can kind of rock into that stretch wherever it feels really good to you. Okay, and release the arms nice and slow. Forward folding bend for just a moment. You want to make sure you're not holding any tension in the neck, so you should be able to nod the head yes. Shake the head, no, and your head should feel nice and heavy and your neck should feel nice and, and at ease. From here, let's go ahead, round on up to standing position. Okay, let's take one arm across the body, taking that nice wrist circle again and change direction. Shake it out, same thing other side. Take the other arm across, hug it in, wrist circle. Change direction and shake it out. Shake both arms out. Let's take a little stretch here. Let's take the right ear down to that right shoulder. And look, even I have to drop that shoulder away from the ear. And same thing other side, okay? And again, you wanna drop that shoulder away from the ear. And then super gentle, you're just supporting the stretch. We're not pushing into the stretch, just supporting that nice stretch, chin towards the chest, and release. Let's take hands behind the back, interlace the fingers. This time we're gonna draw the head down, the arms down, and the head comes up. And we're gonna release, but keep the hands together and interlaced. And this time we're gonna lift the arms up. And release. Again, give those arms a shake out. Each leg a little shake out, and let's go ahead and take our three closing breaths. Inhale, arms up, and exhale back down. Again, inhale, arms up, exhale, back down, and one more time. Inhale, arms all the way up, and exhale down. Nice job. Thank you very, very much. I hope you enjoyed it. Bye, guys.